Hey you guys, I'm AJ. Apologies if I look like I'm making a video at 3 in the morning. I am making a video at 3 in the morning, yes. <laughs> because it's quiet and I don't want any interference. Thank you, Jesus. So, today we are going to talk about more gallons. The last video I had up was and got quite a lot of views and I did take it down because the Lord said to take it down and put up new videos so this is a new one it's updated and it's from the new place where I am spiritually God has done a lot of healing in me so I don't have notes for this one so we will see where God wants to go let's start with prayer Lord Jesus please come be present in our rooms in the place where we're watching, right here where I'm speaking. Give us the kiss of heaven on our minds. Touch our ears, break off word curses. Allow us to hear what you wanna hear. Speak what you wanna speak. Fill our places with the biggest warriors of Yeshua possible. Surround us. Cancel all assignments against speaking, listening, and hearing and processing. Thy will be done. In Jesus' name, speak what you want to speak. Amen. So, more gallons. What is it? Let's address nanotech. What is nanotech? Nano means teeny weeny. Tech is short for technology. So, nanotech can be used for good or for evil. There are many people who try to use it in medical technology for good purposes. Unfortunately, there is a lot that may not be known by those who are using it. And those who have experienced symptoms of what is referred to as Morgellons, aka nanotech poisoning, have experienced the downsides of it. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about mainly solutions and whatever else God brings to mind. But this teeny weeny technology, I have spent a lot of time documenting it on my prior channel as Tasha Lee. I had a lot of documentation of the nanotechnology inside all sorts of things because teeny weeny means it can go into most things. So I filmed it in dental floss and trash bags and sheets and strings, in hair, in eyebrows. I filmed it in, no, oh, in, in carrots, the, the fibers on carrots and bananas. I, I filmed the spiderweb versions of it that have been found on fruit sprays. And I filmed it coming out of my fingers and out of my hairs. I've filmed the, the nanotechnology fibers and what it looks like. And I cancel all assignments right now. Outside of my window, I cancel that assignment in Jesus' name. I bind every spirit but the Holy Spirit. Clamp down your hand on that thing, Lord Jesus. Shut it up. In Jesus' name, come Holy Spirit, fill this neighborhood with the glory light of Christ. Fill all creation with the glory light of Christ. Cancel all robotic assignments in Jesus' name. So, I filmed it in many ways. I filmed it, um, you know, from the onset where they're spraying the nanotech tiny things in like geoengineering spray aka chemtrails, to where it came down on the spiderweb looking things that wasn't quite spiderwebs, but it was um, like crystals and then moved. Um, and so from there, and also on the carrots, the fibers, the nanotech that got into the carrot roots, it wasn't normal carrot roots, it was curly, like big spirals. and and moving and responded to prayer and stuff. 
to where when it came out of the body, you know, eat the carrots, when it came out through my hair that was moving and twitching and on my arms twitching and, you know, standing at attention at midnight and responding to different EMFs and I filmed it on some um, coat hangers where there was hydroxyl radicals being blown onto it through a particular air cleaner I was using and it was actually growing these curly fibers out of the coat hangers, plastic, and they were getting longer and longer. And that was really interesting. I've never seen that on a coat hanger before. <laughs> um, so I found it all over the place and I came to understand quite a lot about it by observation and research and, and stuff. But God had me take down all of that documentation because I also learned that what we focus on grows and I was spending an awful lot of time focusing on it, taking pictures, taking video, and in something called quantum physics, uh, you can actually change the outcome of what happens by what you're looking at. And so God taught me to look at Jesus, to stop looking at that stuff and start looking at him. So he had me take down all that stuff. He had me destroy all the files on my computer, all my videos. I had so many, like hundreds of videos and probably thousands of pictures, destroy it all. I had writing about it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Get rid of the past. Get rid of the spirits connected with it. The other thing about nanotechnology, it is demonic technology. So, first of all, everything in all creation comes first from God. But, the enemy has tried to steal, kill, and destroy by corrupting God's original creation and God's original design, God's amazing way of doing things. The enemy tried to steal it and twist it and use it for evil. So the demonic technology, the nanotechnology, works in conjunction with demons. It's like technology, but it's also demonic. I observed as I was getting it out of my body, the demonic aspects of it, you know, the, the demonic um, manifestations as it left. And even now, for instance, as things are leaving my body, Physically, I have experienced the demonic manifestations at the same time, leaving through the skin, through different private areas, um, in conjunction with the physical leaving. I have also witnessed many times the demonic screams or outbursts or growling or whatever <laughs> because I am privileged and blessed and gifted to be able to um, have this deliverance gifting and discernment gifting and to observe a lot of uh, demonic manifestations as I'm delivering people and so I understand quite a lot now about the demonic as well. So my channel is a focus not on the demonic but on the God who is greater than the demonic. What are demons? They're fallen angels. Guess what? Fallen angels are underneath Jesus. They're underneath God. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the fallen angels, the demons, must bow to Jesus. They're under him. So on my channel, I share about the spiritual things that bring victory, bring health, bring healing, and conquer what the enemy meant for evil. So nanotechnology is not a death sentence. Because the great thing is, we have victory. Jesus has given us authority over all things to trample serpents underfoot, 
When Jesus died on the cross, he went to hell. He took the punishment. He paid the ransom. He said once for all he died. The curse of sin and death is broken. And the key, the authority, was given to Christ because God raised him from the dead, said the punishment has been paid. What the enemy tried to steal by corrupting the creation in the Garden of Eden, Jesus took back at the cross. And he said, all authority has been given to me. And guess what? Now he gives it to his children, to those who believe on him. He gives his Holy Spirit and he gives the authority to cast out demons, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to do everything that Jesus did when he walked on earth. He gives us that key, that authority. Now we don't have to use it, but it's available to us if we want it. Do we want to heal? Do we want to raise the dead? Do we want to cast out demons? It's there and available for us. So nanotechnology is not a death sentence because we have authority over it. Absolutely. You know, there are these different studies about what can destroy it. Can you burn it up? Can you do this? And it was just like, people didn't have an answer. But guess what? God can destroy it. <laughs> God can burn it up. The fire of heaven. This is just, I just prayed in tongues. I asked God what to say next when I'm praying in tongues. That's praying in the Holy Spirit, asking the Holy Spirit His perfect will. Praying in tongues gets them out of the body. The Lord told me when he gave me this, I went through a, a, a session of Splunkna, which is inner healing, breaking legal rights for demonic, you know, to be present. And when I went through my first session afterwards, the Lord told me, go in the bathroom, say hallelujah, 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 until you start praying in tongues. Because he got some of that junk out that was interfering with the work of the Holy Spirit in my life. So I went in the bathroom, I started praying in tongues. It was at like 45 minutes, and it was, you know, halting at first, but he just had me keep doing it, keep doing it, until the Holy Spirit just started to come out of me. And he told me, when he, one of the days when he was having me pray in tongues, he was like, this is your healing. This is your healing, praying in tongues. Because the Holy Spirit is our healer. I had people praying in tongues over me and I had blinking chips coming out of my skin. I've had it when I prayed over myself. God's Spirit is more powerful than any evil. Bind every demonic tongue in Jesus' name. So it's not a death sentence. Now here's the thing. We choose where we go. We choose what we agree with. The Bible says, choose life that you may live. It says the power of life and death is in the tongue. It said, I will not die, I will live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We break agreement with the spirit of death. The spirit of death wants us to commit suicide. The spirit of death wants us to come into agreement with those thoughts about dying. And God says, no, break agreement with the spirit of death. Choose life. Choose life that you may live. Now for many people, the entrance of the spirit of death can be a trauma experience, maybe abuse, maybe something really bad happened and some spirit in us lied to us or around us lied to us and said, it would be better if and we made some kind of agreement with that spirit of death that all oh, it would be better off if 
You know, I'm not even going to say it because I don't come into agreement with the spirit of death. But we may have come into agreement with it by saying something that was not of God. And at some point in our life, being in such a, a place that we just wish we were somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, when we allow that spirit in, or any spirit, the spirit may start out small, but it wants to grow. It wants to keep bringing in more of its manifestations and affecting us more. It wants to affect our body parts. It wants to cause organ shutdown. Well, guess what? I rebuke organ shut down in Jesus' name, and I rebuke the spirit of death in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you to heal those areas of trauma. I ask you, Lord, to burn up the traumatic memories, burn up the abuse memories, and any spirits that came in that way. Burn them up. Destroy them. Destroy the evil, Lord. Friends of Yeshua, destroy the evil. I ask you, Holy Spirit, send your glory light dynamite into those places. Explode the glory light there and heal. Heal the soul, heal the mind, the body, the spirit. Explode your glory light dynamite and heal. Saturate with the balm of Gilead. Bring your shalom peace into our souls, our minds, our bodies, our spirits. And get out anything that does not belong there. Send it to the abyss. Destroy the evil friends of Yeshua. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill us. Fill and enlarge. Pour out an abundance inside of us. Break off all. We just repent, renounce, sever, detach all agreement with the spirit of death. Forgive us, God. Wash it with the blood of Jesus. We appropriate the forgiveness of Christ. We ask you, God, any place that spirit has been let in, just get it out. Send it to the abyss. Destroy it and fill that instead with the Holy Spirit. Fill and enlarge, Holy Spirit. So the Lord taught me to focus on Him. Taught me to focus on His Word. Taught me to focus on praise. These are all very powerful for overcoming. That's what you find on my channel these days. Praise and worship. Audio Bible. The truth of God. At all these things, the demonic flees. Now, it may have been a process for things to get in that shouldn't be in us. So it may be a process for the things to leave that shouldn't be in us. It's kind of like if we got to a place where we were overweight, did it happen with one meal? Not usually. It may have happened with choice after choice after choice of things that maybe weren't helpful for our bodies. So, to get to the weight that we should be at, it can happen as we make choice after choice after choice to take care of our bodies, to be the proper stewards. So, detoxification and cleansing of toxins and pathogens may not happen overnight or in one session, especially if it's been building up for years. It may take continued choices in the path of healing. It may take continued choices to get out spiritual toxins by continued work on emotional healing, on soul healing, on deliverance. So, the thing with symptoms of Morgellons, aka nanotech poisoning, is that it is multifaceted. The source is multifaceted. There's, there's a lot of factors involved. Now, when I read um, from people's posts in the Morgellons community or talked with friends. What I saw was 
that a lot of the things that were being described as Morgellons actually were just symptoms of toxicity in the body. And it was things that the Lord had gotten out of me and healed through nutrition, parasite cleansing, detoxing, and spiritual healing. So the devil tried to take my life away, right? And I thought I was dying because I had come into agreement with that spirit of death. But the Lord said, no, that is a lie from the pit of hell. You are not dying. You will live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And guess what? The doctors didn't have answers. The alternative health people didn't have answers. My lab tests look fine. But what was going on with my body with all these organs and body systems shutting down and being at death's door? Well, obviously the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And guess what? The devil prowls like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But we are not unaware of his schemes. And victory, victory are his ours is we obey God and follow Him. So God taught me how to heal. God showed me these methods to turn around all these life-threatening illnesses, to turn around multiple chemical sensitivity, toxic mold illness, the severe Morgellon stuff, Lyme disease, nutrition like digestion that had shut down, Alzheimer's symptoms, autism symptoms, cancer cyst type stuff, like loss of bladder control, like there were so many things, neurological full body spasms, collapsing, like I could, the list just goes on and on, all joint, major joint pain, all this stuff, God turned it around because he knows everything. So, a lot of the things that people were describing were just a variety of these toxic buildups. So, the main thing that I found just healed everything. Nutrition, parasite cleansing, detoxing, spiritual healing. All of the symptoms. The remaining ones were the demonic junk. And the manifestations of the nanotype poisoning that were related to spiritual trauma. So as the spiritual trauma healed, those manifestations healed. So for anyone who's having all these various symptoms, it could just be there is a toxic buildup that needs to get out of the body. Hey, that's great. Heavy metals cleansing. That's another form of detox. Get the heavy metals out. So many symptoms go away effects on the brain and, you know, feelings of being shocked and all sorts of stuff. This combination of the physical and the spiritual. But God has the answers for everything. So, my major ways of healing everything in simple forms. You can watch those videos on all those topics. But in simple form, the biggest thing for me was Gerson therapy, which was carrot juice and coffee enemas. Coffee enemas give a huge boost of glutathione, which is a master detoxer in the body. Humongous boost to get out so many toxins, to get out heavy metals, to really assist the liver that may be pretty overworked to get the toxins out of the body turn around the symptoms of toxicity. That go, What goes with the coffee enemas is the juice. So either green juice, I couldn't handle it. Carrot juice was easier on my body. Carrot juice is parasite cleansing, pushes toxins out of the cells, gives the body easy, simple nutrition. These two work together. Massive healing, getting tons of parasites out of my body turning around symptoms within months. The other huge thing is diet. 
simple, simple, simple. What we eat has a huge impact on what our body is able to do because our body spends a lot of energy on digesting, especially complex, heavy, processed foods, animal products. It can spend hours, days digesting that stuff. I just buying that in Jesus' name. Cancel all those assignments in Jesus' name. Shut up in Jesus' name. Plead the blood of Jesus over everything outside that window. I bind every spirit. Cancel all robotic assignments in Jesus' name. Cancel. Yeshua's angels, go out. Cut that thing off. Cut that thing off, Yeshua's angels. Shut it down. Warriors of Yeshua, take care of that assignment. So, when we eat simply, the body can take that energy that it would have used digesting for hours and days, and it can put it towards detoxing, towards healing, towards building up the parts of the body that need regeneration, because our bodies are designed to self-heal. They're made in an amazing way by God. So we eat simply, the body puts its energy toward healing. Eating a simple raw food diet, the other thing about raw foods is they're not cooked, so the nutrients are intact so they can be used for healing. So we eat this simple raw food diet. We're cooperating with the body's ability to naturally self-heal. The results that I got with the different methods of parasite cleansing and detoxing and different methods to treat Morgellons were so much more effective than so many people that I talked to simply because of my diet. I had already seen the massive healing just by diet change and that's why I kept with it, a fruit-based raw food diet. So much healing. So that was the basis of it. When my digestion was way down, I did the carrot juice, I did juicy fruits like melons and grapes and mangoes, and I did so the Gerson therapy, the coffee enemas, those were my main methods of healing. And a lot of the symptoms that people describe would go away with just that. Now, for additional thing, parasite cleansing, toxins, pathogens. Okay, so in general, Gerson therapy did a lot of that. I mean, it just, the coffee enemas got a lot of the toxins out. But for certain pathogens that have the biofilm around them, or like the more like the mycoplasma component, like the um, Morgellons has different components of it, like a worm, mycoplasma, the, the fibers, just different stuff. So what would address them was to do the treatments that also work for Lyme disease, that took care of the biofilm, hit the biofilm, then you could go for the pathogen inside, or hit the mycoplasma, you can get the pathogen connected with it. Okay, so the treatments that did this, colloidal silver, is a biofilm buster, also kills the pathogens. I took a glass of that, that's high dose. I took a glass of it in the morning, a glass in the evening. Smaller doses, like a couple tablespoons. I did high dose because that's what worked for the people who got rid of their Morgellons symptoms. Um, another thing, herbs. Some people get rid of their symptoms with herbs. Uh, like Chris Sweeney, he's got a video on that. Um, so like lime, different lime herbs. Um, there's also enzymes, so proteolytic enzymes, such as therapeptase, and I think I took one called Biophase. Those are also biofilm busters, and some of my friends also tried this and saw, boom, a lot of stuff came out when they took the therapeptase. The proteolytic enzymes break down, get the junk out, so you can go inside, and it makes the other treatments more effective as well. Um, the other ones that I found really helpful were magnets and that like increased whatever I was doing because it messed with the technology part. And so um, somewhere up online there's a video where Tasha Lee was talking about what she was experimenting with me, but somebody put it on their own video and like I don't agree with that stuff anymore. I no longer, I don't use a zapper anymore. I don't recommend it because it messes with the frequency of the body in a way that God did not design. And it actually 
it's, I don't recommend it anymore. Instead, I do frequency with deliverance music, with Waves for Life, which is 444, Key of David, healing frequency. I use those two together, the deliverance, my deliverance music, which is mostly prayer and the word of God and praise music, the shofar, mixed together with the Waves for Life machine to do the frequency of heaven. Now that's the frequency I want working on my body. Anyway, so I talked in that video about some stuff that I don't do anymore, but I do, I still love magnets. I don't use the magnetic jewelry anymore, but I found it very helpful and I'm just not wearing it because it kept falling off of me and the Lord's like, you don't really need it anymore. But I sleep on, I sleep in a Nikon sleeping bag, which has magnets, infrared, and negative ion technology, all of which people find very helpful for detoxing and getting rid of these types of pathogens. So my Nikon sleeping bag really made me, when I first started using it, it made me get rid of a lot of fiber balls, and Morgellons fiber balls. It was in addition to whatever I was doing for parasite cleansing already, but it really increased what was already happening. And so I used it every day for like a couple of years and the Lord just had me replace it. I could have used it for many more years, but he just told me to get a new one because um, I was getting rid of all the stuff from the past. So I have a brand new one. That's how much I believe in. I mean, I, it really helps me so much. And it also provides some EMF protection, which is helpful for healing and also for getting sleep at night, getting rid of the insomnia symptoms that people can have by getting rid of the EMFs that like to cause insomnia. So the, the Nikon sleeping bag is the magnets. It just calms everything down in the body and provides for great sleep and really accelerated what came out of my body. So that and the waves for life and the deliverance music are what I'm using these days. In addition to I still do the raw food diet and just some detox here and there. Um, another thing that was really really helpful was an ionic foot spa. Now these are not all created equal. I've heard that there are some cheapo ones that are junk and they don't really do anything while the higher quality ones actually do a lot. My friend Dana Doneski has tons of, you know, given them to a ton of people and lots of testimonies, including his own and his dad's. Um, when I tried it, I experienced very rapid healing of my face, getting more youthful, and like it really made my skin so much better very quickly. It was getting rid of heavy metals and doing other things to really youth in everything. Now, I haven't been using it for a couple of months, but I look forward to when I can get an Ionic Foot Spa myself because I know it was really, really helping. Um, now, coffee enemas. As I talked about, well, the coffee enemas really helping physically, they also really helped with soul healing, and soul healing is a huge part of healing the Morgellon symptoms. And that is because our souls are connected to our bodies. Everything is connected, mind, body, spirit, soul. And so healing the trauma, healing the spiritual stuff results in physical healing. So there are different things that the Lord showed me different sores on my face that were actually connected to a soul wound. And so the Lord went to heal that soul wound and then that the stuff came out of that sore so that it could heal. And you know, the one, there's ones connected to the spirit of death or self-hate or, um, you know, disgust, different spirits connected to different memories and soul wounds that as the Lord healed those, then it allowed it to heal and for the toxins to leave my face and for the skin to heal. So for that, I would recommend going to my page on keepyoureyesonjesus.xyz slash prayer, or just click on the prayer tab. And on there I have resources for inner healing, like Sozo, Splankna. There's also um, 
like Bethel healing rooms. There's people who pray. My friend Danon is on there. He loves to pray for people for a deliverance, inner healing. Um, and there's you can there's stuff for restoration in Christ Ministries, which works with people who have severe abuse, trauma, stuff, dissociation, and their ministry can connect with local ministries that can help you know in your area and so they maintain a list of sites and they also have renunciation prayers and articles for healing from severe stuff and when I went through and did those renunciation prayers I was like wow these people know all about nanotech stuff and the correlation between the demonic and the technological and the abuse and the trauma it's like it was all in those renunciation prayers and it helped so much, like break off the claimed legal right that the de demons are like to use to afflict. Even though their legal right was broken once for all by Jesus on the cross, cross, sometimes there are areas like maybe generational sin that we need to repent for, or ways we've come into agreement with the enemy that we need to break off, so that we break any legal right that they have claimed from our, you know, our sin or our our mess-ups, our things where we're, we've fallen out of, you know, agreement with God. And so God wants to restore our souls, and He values our souls, you know, even more so than, than our bodies, because our bodies are temporary, but our souls, our spirits, um, we, in the inside of us, lasts forever. So He's like, I want to heal this, because I want you to be, I want you to be in good condition, because that's going to last forever. So, um, you know, the, uh, before I made this video, the Lord was taking me to some Bible passages where he was just like emphasizing, you know, he gave us his word, the Bible, to show us how we can live in alignment with him, in relationship with him, and following his ways. And he's like, look, there are consequences when you go your own way. Kind of like when I went off into eating disorder world because I was like, I'm going to have my own way. And I rebelled against God. God was telling me to take care of my body, be a good steward. But rebellion, I came into agreement with a rebellion. And I started doing things that were not of God. And I ate very bad things. And I binged and I stole and I, you know... I went off to enslavement, to that spirit of rebellion and all this other stuff. And in that place, there were consequences. Because I had come out of agreement with God's ways, and I had gone my own way. I would come into agreement with the enemy, with demons. And so I had night terrors, I had other addictions, I had rage, uncontrollable things, I had, you know, a lot of bad things happened in my life because I came out of agreement with God's ways of doing things. And so to heal from all of that, guess how I healed? I came back into alignment with God. I just asked forgiveness. I'm like, Lord, I've made a mess. Please, get this junk out of my life. Show me how to live. Lead my steps. I want to live your way and I want to be... I want to have your blessing and not your curses. You know, the Bible, one of the passages, you know, it's just like, if you follow the Lord, guess what? You're going to have all these blessings. But if you don't, like, there's these curses that happen. It's just, it just goes with sin. It goes with demons. I mean, <laughs> demons bring curses. It's like, you want God's goodness or do you want the other junk? And one of the things that God pointed out to me one day he was like showing me all of these there's a passage just saying all of these if you if you don't obey the Lord look this will come upon you and this will come upon you and I was just reading it like oh my gosh that came upon me and that came upon me and that came upon me and I was like Lord I don't want that anymore he was like did you know that sin can bring stuff on you and and so one of the things that he was pointing out was, like, when we, he, he asks us to love, love our enemies. He asks us to forgive. He says, when you forgive others, then I can forgive you. 
you know, I'm going to forgive you, but I need you to forgive others. And, you know, I want you to keep my eyes on, you know, keep your eyes on Jesus. So different things he commands us to do. Well, let's say, you know, somebody abuses us and we choose, instead of forgiving, we may choose resentment or we may choose, like, fear of that ever happening again. And if we come into agreement with those spirits of resentment and fear, guess what? It's like, that's an open door for the enemy to come and reside in that spot. And oftentimes it can be like a hidden memory, like we might not even remember it. But God is like, we need to heal those places so those spirits leave. Because a lot of times resentment can manifest as pain. I've seen that so many times, severe pain. The Lord's like, they need to forgive. We forgive, the pain goes away. Even severe stuff that people might not even remember. And like for me, these people are like, you need to forgive this, you know, this person in your life. And I was like, I've already forgiven them so many times. They're like, I the Lord said that this is where this is a source of where this stuff is coming in. So it turned out there was like hidden memories, repressed, dissociated memories where in those places, there were some severe things that happened. And I had locked away this resentment, and I didn't even know it. So God has taken me to those places to open up those memories and be like, I choose to forgive. I forgive them. Lord, you take care of justice. That's not, that's not my job. I can't, I can't make justice happen by being resentful. It doesn't work that way. You know, I don't want the pain that comes with resentment. I don't want this other stuff. You know, another thing that God showed me was like rebellion. There's different symptoms that came on because of rebellion. And the Lord's like, we've got to repent for rebellion. Trying to go my own way and, you know, force, you know, do things like not what not what God commands because just because of maybe being hurt and being like making some kind of inner vow well I'm not going to ever let that happen again God's like no 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 we don't we just break that in Jesus name <laughs> we don't want when we make those sorts of things it's like open door demons like to come in and inhabit those things they like to inhabit word curses like if we say I have this symptom they were like, oh, I'll come fulfill that for you. No, 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 no. Thank you, God. On the cross, by Christ's stripes, by his wounds, I was already healed. I'm already healed. So we don't want to give them any legal right to affect us. So the Lord takes us to these places to heal the wounds and get the spirits out that have been manifesting. So let's talk about skin a little bit. One of the places that frequently people can see that's a manifestation of what's actually going on inside is the skin. Now there are some physical things that can help with the skin. I found that honey in water was really great. It's very healing both internally and externally. Um, I also found iodine and coconut oil mixed together was really great. It made itching go away. It cleared out stuff that may have been coming out. When things were leaving my private area, putting coconut oil in there and healing any, that really helped healing sores and any kind of uncomfortableness from stuff coming out. Those were some really big ones for my skin. Um, I've also used something called patchouli, P-A-T-C-H-O-U-L-I. The Lord brought that to me one day. I was like, I don't know what this is, but I looked it up. It actually makes new skin, and that was very helpful for skin. Along with the Ionic Foot Spa, it was very helpful for skin. Um, when I had open sores, sometimes I would put the, the honey on it to heal and then put some baking soda on top of it so that I could put my sock over it or whatever. Um, the baking soda... If there was an open sore, I found that the baking soda was not as helpful for the open sore. Well, it was helpful, but it actually, when I put it on there, it made the stuff underneath like really burn. So it was not very comfortable. 
so I prefer the less drastic ways of addressing it. One of the things that people like to use is red Redmond clay to pull out the toxins and then something on the surface to get them like different essential oils. Some people really like camphor. Some of the really ones that high ones that people like are oregano oil and grapefruit seed extract. These can be used. I mean, I've used things internally and externally. I've used a mix of different stuff on my face, like charcoal and clay and, and all those things that are supposed to be good for natural skin stuff. Apple cider vinegar, different essential oils and herbs, um, you know, coconut oil, just everything uh, mixed together and then just applying it to my face. and. It brought a lot of stuff out of my face and brought a lot of healing. Some people put straight castor oil. That's a good for parasite cleansing and youthing of the skin. Lately, it has been for me mostly deliverance music. Deliverance music and my Waves for Life technology, which you can watch my video on Waves for Life to learn more about it. But using those together is putting the frequency of heaven into my body, the nanotech, hates it and it just makes them come out and um, spiritually it also heals spiritually because there's prayer in there it's bible it's bible healing songs are mixed in and it's going into all the cells of the body and really it's bringing a lot of healing but then there's the spiritual healing and the soul healing which is also really big for um, getting out this the physical because you know, it's like when I was doing the parasite cleansing for a year and a half, people were like, don't you think all the parasites should be out by now? And I'm like, you would think that. But it was like there was something, it was like there was a reason, a spiritual reason that was actually giving them a breeding ground. And so that's where the Lord revealed to me the satanic ritual abuse, which is some really heavy stuff, <laughs> very demonic, that the Lord has been healing that. And that has been clearing up, so there's not that breeding ground anymore. The Lord's been healing my soul and bringing His glory light into my soul instead of all that blackness. And all that blackness is leaving my soul. And like I said, it hasn't been overnight. <laughs> there's a lot of memories that the Lord has been healing. And the thing is, I mean, I've had experience, so many experiences where it was like hours of soul healing and crying and demons leaving and, um, and you know, however long it took to go through the, whatever Lord, the Lord wanted to do with the memories. But it was like the Lord knows how much we can handle. I mean, after a big deliverance session, I needed to rest. I needed some sleep because, like, it was... It was a lot <laughs> to get that stuff out. And so the Lord's like, I'm going to take this in my perfect timing, you know. I, he wouldn't ask me to do it this and then this and this and this and this like day after day after day. He's like, I give you rest. So when he's ready, he's like, let's do another soul healing session. Let's do some more deliverance. And in between... You know, it's like every day I've got my Waves for Life and Deliverance music going. And he's continuing to heal. Heal me inside. Heal me outside. At his, in his timing. I have some friends who um, found that eating organic foods was a huge help. I personally was eating a raw food diet. And I know that was a huge help, but it's like every step toward healthier eating can help, <laughs> I do believe. And there's definitely, you know, connections between the, you know, GMOs and, you know, non-organic stuff. And, you know, a lot of times organic farmers also put more nutrients into the soil. And minerals are very helpful for healing more gallons. Get in the minerals, the greens, juiced barley grass powder, green juice, carrot juice, you know, raw meal, 
get in the nutrients and it pushes the junk out. So it pushes the heavy metals out. We get in the good things, the minerals. And so it's like the, the connection between the nanotech and the heavy metals. They sort of like go together. Get one out, the other one goes. Get them just, you know, get the toxins out. So we put the good stuff in, the good nutrition, push the bad stuff out. Um, another thing I guess was really helpful early on for me was Epsom salt baths. Just, I didn't have a lot of energy at first, so I just stayed in my Epsom salt bath for like an hour. I made it as hot as possible, and there was so much stuff that came out of me. And um, it made a lot of that really bad itching go away. And I was really grateful for those. Some people um, prefer to do shorter ones, like 15 minutes, and prefer to like move so that things don't go back in. Um, for getting out heavy metals, some people really like bentonite clay baths. I've never done one, but I've heard some great stuff about them. Some people really like far infrared or near infrared saunas. I found EMF protection to be helpful for me. Um, I used an Earth Calm home protection system and it really cut down on the symptoms that I was getting from EMFs, especially when I had a high amount of nanotech in my body and high amount of heavy metals. So I found the EMF protection, like I used some EMF protective clothing and the um, house, those were the, the house protection, those were the big things. Um, but it really helped me feel better in the process of getting this stuff out of me. So like now I don't really use much EMF protection except I sleep in my Nikon sleeping bag. Or I kind of use it as a comforter right now. But And I use the EMF protective gloves on my hands with my laptop. That really makes a big difference. But, um, you know, in the process of getting the junk out of our bodies, it can be helpful to, like, feel better to um, cut down because they are related to EMFs and the nanotech. And... You know, I filmed many times them responding to each other, and so I found like keeping my phone off really helped because it kept the EMFs lower, and switching from Wi-Fi internet to wired really helped. And um, now I understand the demonic component as well. Um, but you know, it's it's definitely more than just EMFs; they're they're very related, but. You know, using simple technology like a washer and dryer, an old-fashioned one, instead of one with smart, you know, smart electronics like there's a smart meter on the house, there's the smart, um, did like the displays on certain electronics that make them more, more electronic stuff coming through. And so I found that just using the simple stuff really helps because it's like less access points. Like, we don't need all the electronics that are out there today. Like, why? Why do we need them? Um, and so it's, I found it was a lot less for me to deal with, to just cut back on all that stuff and just be more simple. And, you know, make my own praise in music instead of listening through electronics to other people's. Like, God gave me a voice to use, and He gave you a voice to use. And it, and a guitar, you can just make music. Um, I found that one of the things that the Lord had me to do to heal was to really take a look at my relationships. And like I said, He told me to get the focus off of the stuff. Stop taking pictures, stop looking at pictures, stop talking about it. And so for me, this meant I left the communities where um, I was not really hugely active in them, but I was, you know, there sometimes and talking with people. And what, what I found was there was a spiritual transfer, um, but there were spirits connected with the Morgellons stuff that were actually sort of, you know, prolonging my symptoms and making things worse and so I found that the less I interacted with people who um, were dealing with that the better I felt and I learned to break soul ties and send people soul parts back to them so they didn't have to feel what they were feeling
because I had enough to deal with of just my own. And so the Lord showed me that I could hang out with people who may not have this stuff coming out of them, but who had success in healing and who were walking in victory and happiness and joy. You know, so I went to these, I went to churches and ministries where people said, you know, don't talk about symptoms. Let's, let's celebrate and thank Jesus and walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't talk about symptoms. You're giving power to that. Instead, don't speak word curses, but speak life. And so those were the people that I started to hang out with, the people who said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. They didn't understand all the stuff that I had been documenting, but it didn't matter. It really didn't matter because God is bigger than all of that. And so as I started to hang out with people who spoke life, my mind started to change and God started breaking the strongholds off of my mind. When I took down all that stuff that had been like celebrating it and focusing on it and obsessing about it, the Lord was able to break down the strongholds in my mind and really re, you know, realign my thinking to think according to the Word of God and not according to fear. So fear was a big thing that God broke off of me to heal and to just stop, you know, to break off these, this agreement with these spirits wrapped up in awareness. Because sure, I understand a lot of stuff that goes on in the world now because of my research and what I learned while documenting things. But I also understand now that God says, yep, there's facts. But the truth is, God is bigger than all the facts. And so it doesn't really matter. In God's timing, things will happen. And I don't need to think about all that awareness stuff because where does that get me? It doesn't really get me into any good place. You know, I don't need to be living in fear and worry and dread and anxiety and thinking about death. Instead, I can celebrate life and think about Jesus and serving others and all the amazing things that he has for today and tomorrow and for, you know, everything that I can be involved in today. And so the Lord started having me I went through this deliverance and he broke off these spirits of fear. And there seemed to be actually a lot of um, sexual spirits wrapped up in the Morgellon stuff. Um, and actually Harold Kaltzvela talked about that. And um, you know, I, I do believe it's also related to sexual abuse and just different sexual addictions and other things. And so, um, you know, as the Lord heals all that stuff then it's like the manifestations of Mark Ellen's go with that as well and so the Holy Spirit is the one that heals that I mean it's deep stuff it's really deep stuff and you know my addictions did not break off by me just saying I'm gonna not do it anymore I'm not gonna think about it it was like it had, I had become enslaved to my addictions. And so the Lord broke it off by His power as I disciplined myself to come before Him and say, Thy will, not mine, be done. And, you know, break off the wreckage of my past, make things right with the people in my life, you know, apologize and, and seek God's will first. And um, But the big thing was deliverance. And the Lord had me you know, just remove my websites and YouTube channels and all the stuff I had put out there that was word curses and coming into agreement with symptoms, etc. He had me take all that down and go through deliverance where I got a lot of demons cast out of me. A lot. And then as I continued the process for the healing of the satanic ritual abuse and a lot more memories heal and, and demons leaving there, principalities of darkness, um, that was a big place. I learned also that addiction, you gotta get those addiction spirits out. Then we don't have to fight. It's like get the spirits out, then we're not fighting the spirits because they're out, they're gone. You know, we just walk in God's freedom. And life is really happy with the joy of the Lord and, and not those spirits. The other thing about taking down my videos was there are so many spirits on the videos. And so now I, I make videos when I'm spiritually clean, which is why I'm doing it at 3 in the morning right now. <laughs> I 
I don't want the interference and the transfers from other people or noises or whatever. And um, I do things to clean off spiritually, so a lot of my symptoms go away with spiritual cleansing. So you can go to keepyouraisonjesus.xyz slash prayers, that has an S on it, and that is spiritual cleansing prayers to make symptoms go away. It's like healing. Tear down the strongholds, clear out the bunkers, friends of Yeshua, get that junk out, burn up the memories, and fill it with, fill us instead with the Holy Spirit, glory, light, and just like so many symptoms go away with the spiritual, just the spiritual cleaning off, and just break off all the cords, ties, and bonds affecting us. Anything coming through those cords, ties, and bonds, send it to the abyss in Jesus' name. Send all the parts back that don't belong to me, send them where they belong. Destroy any evil that came in through those parts in Jesus' name. Fill and enlarge with your Holy Spirit. You know, the Lord just taught me these things to break off the symptoms and to feel good. And so I use them every day. And that's what I want to transmit through my videos is a clean, spiritually clean video that is full of the blessing of God. I guess I'm going to pray for you guys. I don't think this probably is as long as my other video. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know how long my videos are. But it's not as detailed. I know that. But I know it's just very simple. The stuff for healing. It's the same thing that heals everything. Nutrition, parasite cleansing, detoxing, spiritual healing. It's so simple. Come into agreement with God and His life. And we heal. And, and stop believing the word curses of the enemy. I rebuke the lies of the enemy. You know, there were people who told me they hadn't seen this or that heal. And I'm like, well, the thing is, who you been hanging out with? Who do you hang out with? You know? It's like, I hang out with the people who healed. I hang out with the people who healed Lyme disease. Who healed all these irreversible things. That's who I hang out with. The people who speak life. Who know it's possible. Who's seen the power of nutrition and raw food, you know, raw food, cleansing, detoxing, spiritual healing. I hang out with the people who pray for miracles and see miracles happen. I pray for miracles and see miracles happen now. I had people pray to impart these giftings to me. Praise God. You know, it's awesome. And the Lord prays to heal the soul that manifests physically. I see that all the time. It's awesome. We serve a God that raises the dead today. It's awesome. So I don't believe, don't believe the lies that this can't be fixed or this can't be fixed. It's, it's a bunch of, it's bunk. <laughs> God can heal anything. It's like the devil try and say, oh God, God can heal anything, but you know, what this thing, uh, no, God can heal anything and he does. So we don't listen to those lies. Don't listen to the lies. It's demons. Don't listen to the demons. Listen to life. Come into agreement with life. Speak life. All right, so I'm going to pray now. If you don't want to receive the prayer, don't receive it. You can stop the video here. If you want to receive prayer, I feel like I'm led. Hold out my hands. You can like touch your heart or your head or something to sort of make contact, maybe touch my hands on the screen. I feel like first the Lord wants to pray for some kind of impartation to give you something and then we'll see where it goes. So if you want to receive it, you can watch it first to see if you want to receive it and then maybe watch it again and like, okay, God, I'll take it this time. <laughs> anyway, Lord, I just pray for your impartation of your Holy Spirit, your spirit of truth your holiness, your purity, God. I pray for you to impart your purity as you impart your purity, your sexual purity. You wash the garbage out. Okay. Yeah, the, this is a big thing the Lord's been healing. Party, purity. We're wrapped in the robe of Christ's righteousness. Yeah. The Lord's saying so much as He makes us pure, all this other stuff goes away. But I pray for your healing. 
for your resources, for your hope. God, I just ask you to cancel the assignments of suicidal depression, hopelessness, despair, destruction, confusion, devastation. Spirit of Kali, Kundalini Spirit. These things wrapped up in Freemasonry. Break off the Freemasonry curses off the ancestral lines, Lord. So I would say right here, I would recommend going to Restoration of Christ Ministries, Aslan's Place, um, Canaan Ministries. If you go to my website, keepyoureyesonjesus.xyz slash renunciations. On there, there's a couple links to some of the places where the best renunciation prayers were that I found. And in those renunciation prayers, it prays for renouncing things through the generations past, things that may be an open door like Freemasonry and the Kundalini spirit related to that, breaking that off, renouncing it, so that the Leo right is gone, so those things have to leave, and then we do more for deliverance. You know, sometimes we break the legal right and then we actually have someone cast the spirits out of us, but just breaking the legal right is huge. So I would really recommend doing renunciation prayers and especially with somebody who can help you, like maybe someone from Restoration Christ Ministries, someone that they can recommend. Um, but definitely Sozo and Splankna. And also my Bible healing songs. Those have renunciation prayers in them. They have prayers for healing. They have everything that God had me pray for myself to put in to listen to on repeat. And I would recommend listening to those. There's also a spoken one with all the all the prayers and declarations. If you don't like the music, you can listen to the spoken one. But those are take care of the prayers, you know. If you want prayer for healing, you know, listen listen to those. Listen to the deliverance music on my channel. It's like there's subliminal prayer in all of those. And it's it's praying to break this junk off. And I listen to it around the clock. I have I have it connected to my waves for life. Um, I have stuff going all the time, so that I can always be receiving prayer, always be receiving healing. So this is just like a little short prayer, but you can be receiving prayer all the time, and prayer is just so huge in healing. God, I pray for your blessing on everyone watching. Give them exactly what they need. The victory is yours. Claim it. Receive it. Receive God's healing. Walk in his victory. It's yours. All right, I think that's all that God wants to share in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to watch the videos on parasite cleansing, detoxing, and nutrition. It's just it's the answers and the soul healing video, the importance of soul healing. And my whole channel is, is the stuff that, that works to heal. I have a list called AJ's Top Picks. That's got the the good ones in there, I'd, I'd say watch those first and um, let God lead you into healing. Follow him, hang out with the people who heal, love him, serve him. He is the answer. God bless you guys. Keep your eyes on Jesus.